This horrible disease affects countless numbers of people around the world, disrupting social order and our way of life. But what is this disease, you may be asking yourself? What is the disease that plagues us to this very day? The answer is quite simple. Cooties. The childhood epidemic. Yes, it is a real thing. Oh, sorry. Oh, hello, children of America. My name is Rick Ryder, and what I'm about to show you is truly terrifying. Cooties. <sighs> truly terrifying, is it not? Now, before we go any further, I'm going to have to ask you to make any small children of the age of 5 to 10 to exit the area for the following things you may see in this documentary you may be truly icky. So, in order to understand cooties or cooties maximus, we ask local doctor Lee Bola about said disease. So, Doc, what can you what can you tell us about this disease? You see, Rick, uh, this is a very, very serious disease. Yes, very serious. And what most people fail to realize is that this disease has been around for a kajillion upon kajillions of years. Kajillions? That is indeed quite a number. I, it's an actual number. And I believe you have a visual representation of what cooties looks like as the years have gone by? Oh, yes, I do. For example, this is what cooties looked like in the 1940s. Oh, well, I guess that's not too bad. The kid could, like, wear a mask the rest of his life. <laughs> Well, this is what cooties look like today. Uh, oh, that's... Uh, my stomach doesn't feel right about it. Oh, oh, yes. <coughs> that's okay because I can, um, I can just change the trash bag. So you just continue right. doing what you have to do. Now we're going to meet with the Mr. Dr. Juan Rivera Garcia de Juan. Now what, is he, what he's doing is a very dangerous form of cootie studying. In fact, 10 out of 10 scientists who do this most likely die within the week. This study is so dangerous, in fact, he is the last remaining cooties expert. Let's go talk to him. Dr. Juan? I ain't no more just in here. Uh, calm down. We're just the film crew. We just want to ask you. If you want money, questions. I don't want to talk. No, this is, we called you earlier. We just want to talk to you. Uh, see you You understand now that this is an interview? Yes, yes, sir. Yes. And we don't, want any, we don't want money. So, I understand you've been doing this for 30 years now? Uh, yes, 30 years. Get you got that's all. It's just, it's just a mic, you know, to record. It's a sound. Hey, Polito. So, you you studying this for 13 years now, right? Yes, 30 years. And I understand you're so passionate about this study that you you actually went undercover as like a high school janitor. Is that correct? Si, sí, si, sí, es cierto. I tried to make my studies very precise and accurate by getting close to the cooties. That's, that's kind of close, isn't it? Yeah, it's very close, but you can never get too close. Hmm. And so this is why you're like the last doctor, isn't it? I tried to survive. Pero esos babosos ni saben que están siendo. I don't speak Spanish. Oh, sorry, sorry. So uh, you're gonna you're gonna take us outside? Yes, let's let's go outside. Look. What are we looking at? Over there. Cutes in its purest form. Disgusting, is it not? Be careful not to agitate, or it might begin to can't even. What are you looking at? We've been spotted. Oh, what are you doing? Wait, why are you getting in the hunt? Juan never made it out alive after that attack. But this shows how dangerous his job was and how deadly the disease is. In memory of Juan, we plan to continue his studies and find a cure to this horrible disease. With the help of the Cootie Resisting Association of People, we can make sure he didn't die in vain and will further fund and continue his studies.
Rest in peace, Juan. Get chingadas, Get chingadas.